so something I, I found or I find very important, very important in understanding is the idea, the, the distinction between the state and you, the, um, the inner self. And Neville made this, this distinction. He said that, you know, there are infinite states, but you, you, you are not a state. Imagination is not a state. And imagination is man, and that is God. And he's basically making the distinction that there's a state which is a perception of yourself um, that you aren't. Now, your state dictates your reactions to your thoughts. If you find yourself feeling gut-wrenching pains from thoughts that you're having, it's because of the state you're in. The thought's not the problem. The same way you and I can go to any kind of place and... Like I always mention that if we, or two people can have similar childhoods yet respond entirely differently to them. So the, the state dictates your response, but to the thoughts you're having, you and I can have the same thought, yet I respond differently to it because of my state of mind. So to not have thoughts affect you, then you must see that it comes from your state. So I say this because a question I often see and often get is, I feel I feel like I, I feel stuck. How do I change my state? And what one must see is that they aren't that state anyways. That you're not even the state. You're never the state. You're, they're just things you're occupying. And I think that this detachment is so important of understanding that since you're not the state, that means you're not the reactions you're having, the emotional reactions you're having to those thoughts, and you're not those thoughts anyways. They're simply mirrors reflecting you that you aren't your thoughts and you're not your feelings and you're not your state. The acceptance of this allows you to be able to be freed in imagination enough to where you can move in between them. You never feel super attached to anything in the mind because truly in a sense you can you just feel like you're occupying it, not necessarily something that you are, you know, indefinitely. <laughs> um, I, I can see how that's terrifying. I've been there before. I see how it's terrifying to think that you're stuck in a bad state but you can't. You, the inner self, can't be stuck in a state because you're never the state itself. States are just things you're, you're entertaining yourself with. They're things you're occupying. So learning that um, type of detachment that you just, just here's what I do is I, I leave the thoughts alone. It's really not about, as I said, it's not what you're looking at that matters. It's what you see. And I can also think of it, it's not so much what you're thinking that matters. It's who you are. Because thoughts can come and go, but who you are remains, who you think you are remains. And your response to you know, any, any kind of thoughts that are what we would deem negative or bad, they might not be that way to you. You might not react negatively towards them because they don't, it doesn't matter to you because it doesn't align with your state. For example, I mean, um, you can view yourself a very confident person, but then have a memory of when you were embarrassed but if you react negatively towards that embarrassment or that memory, that's still, on some level, you still feel associated and connected to that state of embarrassment. You haven't fully left it. Because it wouldn't really matter to you. Because why would it matter if you're, if you're now confident, then what does it matter that you were in the past? It doesn't really matter. Um, so, and if you really uh, accepted that you were confident and you did have that memory, that memory wouldn't even bother you. Because you, you are now the person you want to be. Cause so what, what you're really after, you are really after an I am statement. You're, you're after a declaration of the self in the present tense feeling. That's what we're after. Um, I am is the end goal. It's the present tense. And I think it's important to make this distinction because I've just seen so many people asking, well, how do I change my state? How do I change it? How do I change it? Not, not sure what to do. Well, learn to first detach yourself from the association of being it entirely. I mean, you're not you're not any state. Really practice and feel what that feels like to not be the thing that you think you are, that you're not your feelings, that you're not your thoughts. These are just things you're having. From this detachment, I think it's easier to move. It's because you're so attached to thoughts, so attached to feelings. You think you have a bad feeling, you say, oh, I am this. It's well, no, you're, you're having a feeling, um, and that feeling isn't random. It's coming from a state of mind. 
you know, I had a, um, a friend put it way better than I did. Uh, I've been, try- you know, it's funny when you, when you, you know, talk about this for so long and then someone comes and says it in one sentence. <laughs> uh, but he said it really well. He said that basically the idea is that uh, I've spoke about this in the past about how one should walk around in their imagination as if all their needs are met because they can be in that state of mind. And the way he explained it was a little bit better. He said that it's almost as if the truly the illusion is the fact that you don't have your desire because you do have it in imagination. And if imagination is the only reality, then, and the, then the, when, the imag- or when the external isn't showing you that you have your desire or you're believing that you don't have your desire, then you're, you're living in a, an illusion. And it is an illusion because the inner self does have the thing it wants. And you associate yourself with that being. And that being is not a state. That being has thoughts and feelings, and those are its reflections, if you will. And it finds itself in scenarios and positions in the mind, and its reaction is based upon whatever state it's in. But it's never the state itself. So when people come to me with panic, and they, they panic, they're thinking that they're stuck, I always try to let them remember that just leave the world alone, Leave the thoughts alone, leave the feelings alone, and just change the conception of it, change how you perceive yourself. And I mean that, truly leave all these thoughts alone. Um, it's a practice I do is I just have the thoughts and I focus fully on how I'm perceiving myself. And what you will notice is if you really start to feel yourself to be the thing you want, naturally new thoughts arrive. You don't necessarily have to sit there and try to perfect everything. Um, again, because then you're sort of saying, well, it's not me, it's I need to have the perfect thought in order for me to be that. It's more about feeling yourself to be it now. And then those perfect thoughts come that reflect that state. And you will not react towards the old thoughts. I'm sure everyone's done this before. There are, there are many thoughts that you stopped reacting to because you've moved states. But if you do keep having certain thoughts that frighten you, it's because that you haven't left that state of mind. As I mentioned before, if you have thoughts that that you feel embarrassed by, well, then you still haven't moved from the state of embarrassment. And that's why you're reacting towards it. So it's about who you are, not necessarily the thought. You can have, you can have that same thought and be a confident person, look back at that thought and just feel like, oh yeah, at one point I was that. I was in that state of mind. That doesn't mean that's who I am because I just changed. So you, you're never your thoughts and you're never your feelings and you're never the state. You're always that being that can move and use these tools, if you will, to change. But really, you're never the thing you're changing into either. But that's for another time. That's not, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to get at is that learn to detach yourself from... Uh, bef- I try to tell people it's probably better to detach yourself in, inwardly than it is to try to focus on detaching yourself from the external world. First, learn to detach yourself from your thoughts and feelings and states. If you, Every time you have a reaction in the mind, or you rea- realize that that reaction is simply from a state that you're not. Learn to really become detached from it. And then you will naturally start to detach yourself from the external world. And that will allow you to live in imagination and live in fulfillment. And you will walk in this fulfillment. You walk that, that the imagination fulfills you. That when you hear in the mind that you're confident, that's enough for you that you don't need the external's opinion to conform right away. You you dictate who you are in this world. And that's how it is in any dream. Anytime you wake up inside of a dream, you're the one who dictates it all. You orchestrate it through your self-concept. So when Neville says leave the world alone and change the conceptions of yourself, conceptions are within yourself. And, and leaving the world alone is also a skill in itself, but also learn to leave the thoughts and feelings alone. Leave the state alone. When you move states and you start to feel yourself to be different, don't wonder if you actually left the old one. Don't wonder if you are now this. You don't wonder anything. You just experience being it. Eventually the thoughts will form. Eventually the feelings will form because they're simply mirrors reflecting you. So I hope that helps that learn to you know practice detachment from these things. And you won't have such a panic when you find yourself in a state you dislike. You can just learn to say, oh, well, that's 
not even who I am. It's just something I'm occupying. Um, I hope that causes, at least that causes the anxieties to go down, feeling stuck. And from there, you can think more clearly to move in imagination. You learn to explore the mind, and you'll see that you really aren't anything in it. You're just occupying things within it. So I hope that helps.